Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Today's video, um, we got another reveal, and it's it's the sun, <laughs> and we're back to doing some dirty, dirty things, man. Dirty, dirty things. Uh, I'm not sure if the bronze was released yet, um, so I only have time for the uh, the legendary. But I mean, like usually that's the craziest one. So um, if you haven't seen it already, man, get ready for this one. Um, uh, Vilgefort's Renegade. He is a human mage agent. So he synergizes with um, what's his name? Uh, the eight power guy that swaps cards. Can't think of his name right now. Daldrick. So he, if you have an agent on the board. But uh, he's six strength. 13 provisions, so you know he's doing something wacky. I love the art, by the way, too. I like that he's pre-crispy. He's uh, original recipe Vilgefortz here. <laughs> um, I love this. I love this so much. But uh, Human Mage Agent, deploy. Swap a card from your opponent's graveyard with a card in your hand. So, you could put in your deck... I mean, it's not going to happen, but it's it's just ignorant. You can give your opponent a fucking Spring Equinox. <laughs> Unless it's in the mirror, they would give it back to you. But uh, one-off Spring Equinox meta incoming. <laughs> Here you go. Zero, zero point card. Um... <laughs> I, I, I think this this card's going to be extremely annoying. I think, too, this this signals um, Alchemist's nerf, impending nerf. Because uh, taking the good card out of your opponent's deck and then taking a good card out of your opponent's graveyard and then spawning another one with Terra Nova you just basically playing all of your opponent's good cards or stealing them it uh it seems real dirty <laughs> it seems real dirty oh man spring equinox is coming <laughs> oh man i know someone's gonna do it man uh someone else too i seen was, was saying um Viper, uh, you could play it twice. But, I mean, do you really want to play this once? Like, you, this card can't live as it is, like, trying to get it to live twice. Um, it would be awesome if you can get it to stay in the graveyard and start eating your opponent's stuff, pull it out, and then uh, eat some more. But, um... <laughs> this card's crazy, man. It's cr I always people get pissed that Nelf cards cards are just you know annoying and stuff. I mean, technically too, you could uh, pull your Joaquim, right? You could play your Joaquim three times in one round. You can go Joaquim. You can go location. Cantarella Joaquim. As long as you cued it, and then you could do it again and play it again. So you could you could possibly play what five Joaquims? That's an option. Um, there's, there's just a lot of options here. I mean, getting to steal to me, getting to steal your opponent's good cards. It's to me, I compared it to Blue Dream with a body. Um, I think it's crazy. Um, it's a it could be a mill card too. I mean, you could play Cantarella, um, play it again, coup it, play it again. They kill it, you play it again. <laughs> um, the same thing with Roderick. You could even put Roderick, um, coup it, it dies, grab it again, play it again, and get another gold if you missed your golds. Um, it seems really nutty. It seems really nutty. Um, it's definitely going to be something that people are going to 
going to play because, yeah, the, the spy synergy is huge, I think, with the Joaquims. On a, a round you're being bled, you, you know, you could play this and just go to town with Joaquims and your lower provision cards getting boosted, especially the Assimilate ones. So Terra Nova, Vilgaforts, not sure what you cut currently for the Terra Nova deck that with the imprisonment and stuff. But it seems like a wacky card. Let me know if you guys came up with any uh, synergies. Also, too, man, let me know if you guys are enjoying the... It seems like everybody did uh, like the free-to-play. It's in, I will say it is insane how much kegs I've opened without spending any money. I currently have a full, almost a full warrior deck. I think the only cards I'm really missing are uh, Hjalmar I'd like to get. And um, maybe a couple other ones. But, uh, I mean, I have Herald, Iced. And this is just from Crafts. I was pissed, though. I crafted Iced. And then I ended up getting them in a keg. I was so mad. And then I crafted uh, Raiding Fleet. And I got it in a keg, too. I was like, oh, man. But uh, the, the amount of stuff you get to where you can be competitive. Like, I've played, like, 35 matches, I think. Um, yeah, about 35. And I have, like... I got... Out of kegs, too, I got Yurden. I got um, a Neuromancy. I'm just like, this is insane. Like, if, if you're new to this game... Or if you've thought about getting into this game. With the reward points. The journey. I, I never realized the journey. How many reward points you get from just playing the journey free. It's sick. <laughs> I've been opening up all kinds of things on the map. It's been really refreshing. If you've been bored with the game. I will say starting over on a new account. And just um, getting some enjoyment out of the original cards that you know you used to play or cards you haven't seen too often like when i started out i was playing like enraged ifrit and i was having a blast with them i'm just like this is great this is great so um yeah i'm gonna keep going with the free to play i think i'm ranked 22 right now um i got up to like uh i think i'm like 25 and 5 i lost to some decks that were just haymakers though and one of them i did misplay pretty bad i so I just uh, passed and lost. <laughs> but um, really fun, man. Definitely check it out. Um, thank you so much for everything. I'll see you guys next time.